Have you ever wondered if there's a link between fasting and cancer prevention? This question is at the heart of ongoing research that's delving into the intricate relationship between fasting and our body's ability to ward off cancer. It's essential to note that this field of study is complex with findings that are continuously evolving. Some studies have proposed that fasting could potentially play a significant role in reducing the risk of cancer or decelerating its progression. However, the results haven't always been consistent. This inconsistency is not surprising given the complexity and diversity of cancer types and the individual variations in our bodies. The potential benefits of fasting for cancer prevention are thought to be linked to various mechanisms within our bodies. These include processes such as autophagy, insulin sensitivity, inflammation, metabolic changes, and even DNA repair. Intrigued? Let's delve into the mechanisms that could be at play here. First up, we have autophagy, our body's way of cleaning house. Now, if you're wondering what autophagy is, think of it as a kind of recycling system. It's a natural, regulated process that allows our bodies to remove unnecessary or dysfunctional components, allowing for the orderly degradation and recycling of cellular components. Now, why is this important? Well, it's all about maintaining a healthy functioning body. You see, cells in our bodies can become damaged over time due to various factors. This damage can lead to disease if not properly managed. That's where autophagy comes in. It's like a janitor, tidying up and making sure everything is in working order. Here's a fascinating fact. Autophagy is not just about cleaning up. It's also about recycling. The process breaks down the damaged parts of cells and uses the resulting molecules to create new healthy cellular components. It's a beautiful example of the body's efficiency, turning waste into something useful. Now you might be asking, what does this have to do with cancer? Well, research suggests that autophagy might play a key role in protecting against various diseases including cancer. When autophagy is functioning correctly it can help prevent the accumulation of damaged cells that could potentially become cancerous. However, it's not as simple as it sounds. Autophagy is a delicate balancing act. Too little and damaged cells might accumulate. Too much and it could lead to cell death. The key is to maintain a healthy level of autophagy, which could be influenced by many factors including diet and lifestyle. Fasting for instance is believed to stimulate autophagy. This could be one of the ways that fasting might contribute to cancer prevention, although it's important to note that research in this area is still ongoing and findings are evolving so there you have it. Autophagy, the body's recycling system, could potentially play a significant role in preventing cancer. An effective housekeeper and an efficient recycler all rolled into one. Autophagy is indeed a fascinating process, isn't it? Let's move on to insulin sensitivity and a little something called IGF-1. Fasting, as it turns out, might have a significant impact on insulin sensitivity. Insulin, an essential hormone in our bodies, regulates the amount of glucose in our blood. It acts like a key, allowing glucose to enter our cells and be used for energy. When our cells become more sensitive to insulin, they do a better job of moving glucose out of the bloodstream and into our cells where it belongs. This is crucial because prolonged high blood sugar levels can lead to various health complications. Now how does fasting fit into this picture? Well some research suggests that fasting might improve insulin sensitivity. This means that our cells could potentially become more responsive to insulin, enhancing their ability to utilize glucose effectively. This is a good thing for our overall health and interestingly, might also be beneficial in the context of cancer prevention. Let's move on to IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1. This growth hormone, similar in molecular structure to insulin, plays a vital role in childhood growth and continues to have anabolic effects in adults. However, high levels of IGF-1 have been associated with an increased risk of certain cancers. Here's where fasting comes into play again. Some studies suggest that fasting might reduce levels of IGF-1. This could potentially decrease the risk of developing certain types of cancer. It's a fascinating possibility, and while more research is needed to fully understand this relationship, it's another example of how fasting might have a role in cancer prevention. So as you can see, fasting might influence our bodies in ways that go beyond simple calorie restriction. It could potentially affect our insulin sensitivity and IGF-1 levels, two factors that are intricately linked with our metabolic health and potentially our cancer risk. So fasting could potentially play a role in regulating these crucial aspects of our metabolism. Now let's touch on inflammation and metabolic changes. Inflammation is like a double-edged sword. It's a natural response of our body's immune system to injuries and infections, helping to protect us. However, when inflammation becomes chronic, it can play a role in the development and progression of various diseases, 
including many types of cancer. But here's the interesting part. Fasting may help reduce this chronic inflammation. The act of abstaining from food for a certain period works like a reset button, allowing our body to focus on cellular repair and recovery. As a result it can help lower the levels of inflammatory markers in our system. Now let's move on to metabolic changes. Our bodies are incredibly adaptable. When we eat our metabolism kicks in to break down the food and extract energy. But when we fast, things change. Our body in the absence of readily available energy from food, starts to look for alternative sources. It's like when you run out of gas in your car. Instead of just stalling on the side of the road, your body switches to a different fuel source. It starts to break down stored fat into molecules called ketones, which can be used as a source of energy. This metabolic switch, from using glucose derived from food to using ketones derived from fat, is a key aspect of fasting. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. This switch in energy utilization may affect the growth of cancer cells. You see, most cancer cells are adapted to use glucose as their primary source of energy. So, when the body switches to using ketones, it could potentially slow down the growth of these cancer cells. However, it's important to note that while these concepts are promising, they are still being extensively studied. More research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits and risks of fasting in relation to cancer prevention and treatment. Quite intriguing, isn't it? How fasting might influence these aspects of our body's functioning? Finally, let's talk about DNA repair. Our DNA is the blueprint of our cells, and when it gets damaged, mutations can occur, potentially leading to cancer. Now, this is where fasting could come into play, and it's quite fascinating. Some research suggests that fasting might enhance our body's DNA repair mechanisms. You see, fasting is not just about depriving our body of food, it's about giving our cells a break, allowing them to focus on maintenance and repair. And one of these repair tasks is fixing damaged DNA. By enhancing these repair mechanisms, fasting could potentially reduce the risk of mutations that could lead to cancer. So, we're not just talking about a simple diet change here, we're talking about a potentially powerful tool in our fight against cancer. Imagine that fasting could potentially help our DNA fix itself. So, what have we learned about fasting and cancer prevention? We've journeyed through a fascinating exploration of the potential mechanisms through which fasting could play a role in cancer prevention. It's a complex, dynamic field of study. And while we're uncovering new insights, it's important to remember that the research is ongoing and the results are not definitive. Firstly, we delved into the world of autophagy, the body's self-cleaning process. By fasting, we might be able to stimulate this process, helping the body to remove damaged cells and recycle their components. In this way, fasting could potentially play a role in protecting against diseases, including cancer. Next, we explored the relationship between fasting, insulin sensitivity, and insulin-like growth factor 1 levels. Fasting may improve insulin sensitivity and reduce IGF-1 levels, both of which could potentially decrease the risk of certain types of cancer. We then looked at how fasting might help reduce chronic inflammation, a key player in the development and progression of many types of cancer. By reducing inflammation, fasting could potentially slow or prevent the onset of these diseases. We also discussed the metabolic changes that can occur during fasting. These changes in metabolic pathways and the utilization of energy sources could affect cancer cell growth and potentially slow or prevent the progression of the disease. Lastly, we touched on the possibility that fasting might enhance DNA repair mechanisms. By strengthening these mechanisms, fasting could potentially reduce the risk of cancer-related mutations. While the potential benefits of fasting are promising, it's crucial to remember that these findings are part of an active and evolving field of research. As such, it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or lifestyle. Remember, it's always important to seek professional advice before making significant changes to your diet or lifestyle. Stay healthy, stay informed, and thank you for joining us today.